Hey, Bill DeWeese here with a quick hack on how to easily and quickly and consistently tie the Cray loop knot. The Cray loop is an excellent loop knot uh, when you need the loop knot to give additional degrees of freedom in whatever uh, is your terminal tackle. Uh, so we have just a standard mono like you would have for your leader uh, for fluoro or mono. And we're going to start with the standard overhand knot that we're going to use and then the tag line, tag end of this would go through the eye of whatever your terminal tackle is. In this case I'm using a, uh, a lure and uh, we're going to go through the eye and then we're going to come back up through the lower half, the downward facing half of the overhand knot. And this is where the cray loop can get a little messy because you've got to kind of balance all this stuff out. So the hack to make this easy is to what I typically do is I will take something heavy like fish grips like my scissors or in this case my pliers and put them on the hook put it on your jig head put it on your hook in this case I'm putting on the lower end of the treble hook of the lure and now you'll notice I can completely easily gravity is helping me out here and I can manipulate this loop knot down to whatever size I want and the loop knot will remain firmly in place. This would normally be hooked to your rod, so it's kind of flapping around here. Uh, so I can make, in this particular case, I'm going to be working with a lure. I want a nice tiny loop so that this front, front hook does not get tangled up into the uh, loop. So, But what I can do now is I can simply spin this whole rig. It's all being held in tension by gravity, specifically with the weight of the pair of pliers. So it's very easy now to do this, and even if you're bouncing around in a boat, you get your five to six or wraps, depending upon the diameter of your line, and you go back through the loop knot, or the overhand knot that you've created. And that you can see this is all held in tension and it's super easy because you don't have to worry about slippage because gravity is holding the whole thing in tension. Now, normally you would wet this. I'm not gonna slobber all over it on the video, but you can simply pull this straight down and you get a beautifully consistent loop knot. You don't get any slippage in the loop knot while you're tying it. And you can simply very quickly use the, the, the pliers to snip your tag line and you're on your way. And you end up with a very easy, consistent loop knot that's easy to tie. And um, you almost always have something like this near you, whether they be fish grips or pliers, anything with a slight bit of weight holds the whole thing in tension while you tie it. It makes tying a loop knot very fast, very easy, and all your loops will be nice and consistent. Hope this helps.